Hello there and welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the last episode we were trying to get Korra completed on our ever steady march towards full blade affinity. Um, why have I set that as the arbitrary goal for my series? I don't know, but that's what we're doing. And I'm going to keep doing it until all the blades are done. Now, I need two love sources. Have I got two love sources, my friend Zeke? I have got seven love sources. Here I was thinking I'd gonna have to make some more. Untrue. Okay, heart cookies please, because I need to replace it with something, otherwise you will be upset. That means Cora's done. Bing. My conversation skills have improved. I mean, I did. Me, yes. So I've got girls talk five. I need to collect stuff. What does collect stuff mean? I can collect all sorts of shit. You mean from chests? Collect HP potions, perform a driver combo finisher. I can easily do that. Uh, defeat Limworm, Remini's and Etheria. Go down to stages in Tantal, complete the quest, girl power off. That's for all of these, so that's that should be fine. Defeat Limworm, Remini's and Etheria. Okay, so let's go to Letheria and do that. Uh, let's Google Letheria, Lindworm. Where are they? Island base Lindworm in the Letharian Archipelago. Sounds good to me. Right, so it's somewhere. I think it's in the Fonset waters, like here. Island base Lindworm, there we go. Okay, right. This way, please. Also, I'm playing FF12 at the same point as this, although this is coming out on the 18th of October. By, you know, much later, you'll Let's be seeing Final Fantasy XII. Let's get going. Um, I'm actually really enjoying playing the game. The story doesn't bother me at all. I'm not interested in it. But I am quite interested in uh, the gameplay. The gameplay is better than I remember it being. And it's just nice to f have a cool grind game and turn your brain off for a minute and just go. I've, I've got two save files running. One where I'm doing it legitimately. Um, as in not trying to speed up time too much and just going forward with the game and one where I'm spending my time farming because that's what I like to do in RPGs I like farming and getting incremental upgrades uh, and the difference is already quite palpable my file where I'm ahead in farming is like 700 pile. HP more which is a lot for this early in the game I'm gonna try and get driver combo finishes, but I'm gonna do it against the uh, the Soros or Sor yeah the, the Soros. Mind you don't fall out, Brad. Well done. Maybe we're eyes front thunderdweed. Go stare at Pandoria instead. I'm just making rolling smash because I want to make sure that. So we actually have something we can okay. fight, and it Time won't just instantly you. die. I'll let you know if you start slacking. This will be a walk in the park. I won't do that. Let me take it. Oh, you did this to yourself. Okay. Right. So, with that being said and done, uh, let's see. That's that. So all level fours are complete. It, but I'm pretty good in a support role too. Indolin loyalist, the world tree. Okay, driver combo finishes should be easy to do. Let's go to Temperantia and fight some more dinosaurs. But I need to get rid of Nia and put in Tora because that's how we get driver combo finishes. That setup is supreme. That was a slog. Let us go. Yeah, rock is for crushing. Okay, I'm just trying to get in my head. Who's breaking? Tora's breaking. Tora's breaking. Zeke is toppling. Tora's launching. I'm smashing. And that's how we're going to get the job done. Hello, big dinosaur friend. 
I killed many of you trying to get 200 driver combo finishes. If I'd have known that I needed some more, I would have just waited, but it's fine. I'm going You're right, mate. I won't Double even bring this Maybe we'll get out of here alive after all. Quick! Top we can do it! Torrent can do it! So the only downside with this uh, strategy is of course that we don't get to um, heal very often. Okay, that was done. They did it for me. Thanks, lads. That should be all the smashes we need. I don't know whether I need to collect the... I need to collect them or not. Who knows? Whether it has to be Korva that does it. So I guess in this case, see. Walking joy. Good. That is because Master Pond treats Poppy so well. Okay, I just pick, I just press triangle again. I, that's it. <laughs> Brains on the sideboard. Done. Okay. Charming, don't you think? That's that. Okay, so yeah, Zeke needs to be the one to collect the potions. That's fine. I'll just have to uh, change order. And do it myself. And then I go to, uh, not Indel, the World Tree, to fight some Indel and Loyalists. On the Skyport. Sounds good to me. So when the Switch Pro comes out, because we all know it's going to happen. Let's get going. Just give me more frame rate, please. And faster loading, obviously. Five of them. Okay. Yeah, we just need faster loading. And, uh... More... Well, a little bit more graphical fidelity would be nice, but I don't care about that. I care about frame rate. Doubted us. Frame rate's much more important. Okay. Is it in Mordain? Oh, I've done all four of them, just not number five. Okay. Sheba, you Let fulfill a lot of the requirements. The uh, we need girls talk. Time to affirm my existence. That's deep. Come on, someone else must have girls talk. I mean, I can sort by it and then find all the ones that do. That's no, just these four. Okay, so I need to take Praxis. You can go. It'll be child's play. Um, then Poppy Buster because obviously. Then other people who aren't done. I get to fight. Let's see who isn't finished. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll do. I think. Right, off you go. So now I need to put someone else in Zeke's party, but that's okay. I hope there he can come. I won't disappoint. No more smashes for me, but I don't need smashes. I only need to get potions. Right, potion time. The glory, eh? You can count on me. They'll never know what hit him. 
Let's just keep going until we get potions. Do they also have to be potions that I created? Or is it okay if it's not? Because if they have to be potions I made, that's fine. But if I can pick up any potions in the counts, then that's better. Excuse me. Very busy. Collecting potions. I guess we'll see whether I've got like two or like eight. Does anyone know? Give me those potions, bitch. Okay, so if it's like 10, then it's any potions that anyone made. If it's like 4, that's 12. Okay, so it's any potions anyone makes, as long as I get them. That's better for me, because it'll be much faster. Hogging the glory, eh? They're sure to break under my Let's do it. Hogging the glory, so eh? You can count on me. They'll Don't never get the edge. Right. You come kill. A shameful defeat. Anyone else can going. pop his final form Let's do it. No? Just me? Poppy does not understand. But Poppy feels very cool in this form. Alright, so we're going to fight some bigger boys that take a bit more heat before they die. Because we're going to need to actually fight something with a little bit more longevity if we want to get all of our shit. There he is. The lads. Huh. We want to get all our potions, so we have to fight something a bit stronger. Huh. Huh. There we go. Huh. Let's Holding do it. The glory, eh? They're smash. sure to break under my charm offensive. Rolling smash! We hit eight. Rolling smash! Yep. Just like the Zeganator is ready to kill them all. Yep. A potion fell off the level. I pay more attention. I think other people are collecting my potions. Those bastards. I need those. I've got it well in hand. Unless they're falling off the level and being counted as gotten. There we go, I definitely get them. Superbly done. Thank you. Another potion for me. Right, let's fight something else. Let's keep going until we've done all of these. I'll get a few potions from each one of you. Hogging the glory, eh? 
dare sure to break under my charm. Give me those potions, yeah. Not like this. Always have been. A shameful defeat. Let's keep it going. You're far too strong, Vex. Just kill everything that moves. It's not much of a contest, is it? Looks like I won't even have to use the eye of shining justice. Tora got this. Let's go then. Here we go. Ready for action. It's gonna get all the potions forever. How far away am I now? Let's see. I might not look it, but I'm pretty good in a support role Three too. More. Okay. There's play bots back on the way. We'll be prime bait. Or you. You'll do. Let's go then. That should do me. A shameful defeat. There we go. Really feeling it. Got it. One big one coming up. Nice. So potion hoarder be so popular, it'll be unreal. means extends time HP potions men on the ground by a hundred seconds. So like an extra minute. They that's incredible. That's a lot. Yes, I need to go through treasure treasures and collect shit from treasures. Which means I could do salvaging and that will do it. Um right. So let's find a salvage point and do some salvaging. It's been a while and I'm already max salvage rank so I don't really do salvaging anymore. But we'll do some and collect the chests with Zeke and therefore we'll get the stuff from them and that'll count, I think. But we'll try it once and see. Let's whack out a golden cylinder. I don't know oh, what the combination is. Wait. If it's just Onwards. BBA, that'll do. Hello. What a beauty you are. Ooh. Barely seems worth bothering. Rolling smash! Fury drops it! Ha! Wait, shall we? The enemy's element is now! Got it! The threat is seeking a turn! Oh, I barely noticed! Jesus Christ! There's just a cacophony of noise. Right, let's see if it counted. It didn't count. Okay, so. That means I've got to go in the world and actually get chests. That might be easier said than done. Um, I've opened a lot of chests already. But I'm sure there are random chests that respawn. Like just little basic shitty chests. Let me make sure I know what collect stuff means in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Because otherwise I won't know. Just means to use any gathering point. Oh, okay. So I have to just go... That's why I check, because I don't know. So if I just go to like here and go to the special zone. Where is it? Is it the grotto? There, yeah. And there's loads of points here. There's like three. So if I just do this and go over and over again, it would count. Works for me. So it's actually two, but whatever. What's here? In my experience. Close enough. Right, so if that counted. After we do this one, it should be four. 
What's here? Isn't it great we can get all this stuff right out of the ground? specialist feel. What's here? In my experience. What's here? Hmm. Let's see. So that should be four, right? Yeah. Okay, good. The benefit of having a wiki one keyboard stroke away means that I can just look up when I don't know what something is. Just look it up. Why waste everyone's time fiddling about when I can just find it and then it works. It sounds good to me. What's here? Oh, what's here? I always wait for all the things to fall out before I collect it. I don't know why. I just like seeing it go pew pew. Off we go. Where to, Master? What's Bond? here? Isn't it great we can get all Maybe this stuff right out of the ground? Maybe specialist feel. Well, that's Let's why. Because it ends up taking longer running around and trying to get it all off than just waiting for it all to spawn. And then running straight forward with your good collection range. Now I remember. We're here. Let's get going. Let's see. Isn't it great we can get all It's a very odd right thing. If it, is it auto collect or just stand in the middle of it? Yeah, pretty much. Let's I suppose see. that would be the fastest in way of doing experience. it then. It doesn't feel as good though. There. Okay. So that's lock picking done. Right. Things will be easier from now on. Now we're just gonna to go to Anastasia's in Tantal and complete the quest Girl Power Off. Sounds good to me. Do I need to rest there or just go there? Because I'm here. Came a pretty long way, eh? We'll just go there. Shall we rest our legs before we move on? Huh? Are you seriously suggesting we stop here today? Yeah. Is there a problem? Um, hello? This kind of boring, lame location totally saps my girl power. What is girl power? And what it got to do with location of inn? Girl power is a girl's driving force. Girl power is what grants me my awesomeness in battle. If girl power gets too low, well, life is no longer worth living. Huh? It's that important? But these inns are pretty much the same, Cora. The same old thing, wherever you go. You do sometimes exaggerate things. I never exaggerate. It's hard to even take proper care of your skin in a place like this. Mithra, you know this. I've noticed you've been shrinking into the background lately, like a little wallflower. Wallflower? You mean, no one notices me? Ah, uh, that came out wrong. All I mean is, you could use a little boost in the girl power department. Rex, you're a guy. Don't tell me you haven't noticed that Mithra is lacking a little something. What? Answer carefully, Rex. Huh? Um... I mean... <laughs> how can I, um... Uh, Rex looks like he's gonna blub. Wouldn't want to be you. Nia, maybe we should step in to prevent an escalation. Huh? I I'll pass. Getting in between those two right now would be suicide. Let Charlotte handle it. Uh, nah. Putting the Zekinator in the mix would only exacerbate the situation, eh? Now we get some self awareness. Then we'll just observe. It's just a bit of banter. How bad can it get? 
Come on, Mithra. Isn't it time you got a new outfit? Admit it, when was that moth-eaten thing last in fashion? 500 years ago, that's when... Moth-eaten? Well, at least I've got some clothes on. What you're wearing wouldn't cover the head of a goose. <laughs> that's rich coming from you. That look in your face, you know I'm right. You want to see who's got girl power? It's on! Bring it! <laughs> yeah? You bring it. Let's say the loser has to, um, do a little dance for everyone. Well, think you can handle it? I can handle it. But Cora, this is practically a done deal. You really want to go there? <laughs> you bet. It's totally a done deal. I'm looking forward to kicking your butt. Hey, guys, do you really think this is a good idea? You're getting a bit aggressive. Shut, Shut up, up, Rex. Got it. Okay, let's do this. See you at 1800. You'd better go and work on your girl power. Cora, don't underestimate me. I'll show you. I know the score. See you there. Right, <laughs> okay. Normal things that happen in an RPG, I suppose. Especially an anime it's one. Time for celebration. Um, I hope things went well. Let it be known. I don't know what to do. I, I guess we'll just do the quest and move on with my life. Pretend this didn't happen. I'll support you. Okay. Thanks, Vale. You're useful. Someone who actually does what they're supposed to fucking do. Just turns up, does the job. Finally. Have I got any quests left? I might get I might have gotten to the point where I've done everything again. Ah. Alright, that means we set on some two hour jobs and just leave them going. Cooking up a feast. Time to affirm my existence. Need some production mastery. As long as I get to fight. So let's find someone who does that. There. There you go. And then just any humanoids we want. I hope you'll pray for my safe return. All right, here we go. Let us rank in the assets. I mean, technically, Poppy Buster does not count as a humanoid. But the complaint protocol is current. That's fine. It definitely doesn't count as a humanoid. It's a robot. Oh, I guess it's a humanoid robot. Go to the table on stage this time to start Cora Mythos Girl Power Contest, but when, at what time? Oh, 1600. No, 1800. Six o'clock. Alright. Begin the contest. Oh, I see you haven't run away yet. Well done, I'm proud of you. Ah, contraire, my little croissant. It is I who am proud of you. I thought you'd be t turning tail at the threat of taking on my relentless girl power. You better not underestimate me, Cora. You're the one who's going to be rooted by my awesome girl power. Tee hee hee. Ah ha ha. Well, since we've agreed that we're going to put our girl power to the test, we need to decide how. Indeed, we must. Actually, I haven't given it much thought. Okay, how about this? We'll get a few people to act as judges. It'll be their job to decide who's got the most girl power. And it'll be our job to each persuade them that we have more of it than the other one does. Does that sound fair to you? Oh, definitely. I love girl talk. I'm very confident about this. Okay, let's grab someone walking by, then the real battle can begin. Brace yourself, Mithra. What? This is a piece of cake. Okay, first up. Right, yeah. Okay. And so, thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continues. Yeah, just the person. You're right on time. Hey, Cora and Mitha, what do you mean by that? Dare I even ask? We're having a showdown. We wanted to tell him he's got the most girl power. Girl power off. Ah, that. You're going ahead with it for real? Just take a seat here, will you? 
And now tell us, who has the most girl power, Mithra or me? You want me to... Uh, I guess it's fine, I have time. Okay, let's get to it. But how are you going to take each other on, exactly? Well, we thought we'd try girl talk first. Just tell us who's got the most girly talk in terms of content and delivery. Got it. So for the first topic, um, it's a bit basic, but how about favourite food? Yeah, sounds good. Let's get started at last. So, Dina, tell me, what is your favourite food exactly? Oh, I'm on the spot now. I guess, uh, cream orange paratha. Oh, really? I didn't think you'd have such adorable tastes. I don't care. I just eat stuff I like. I'm just surprised, that's all. I thought you'd be more of a meat and fish sort of girl. Oh, no, it's a bit boring for me. So, anyway, I'd like to ask you something. Oh, your boots. What do you think of John Mark? I mean, as a man, cat. Cat man? Man cat? Hey, where did that come from? I thought we were talking about food. That's so weird. But when girls get together, this is the stuff we really want to know, Nia. This kind of girls' only banter is an important component of girl power, Nia. Uh, no, I um, wasn't trying to win or anything like that. I'm just really interested in you, Nia. Like, he's always following you around, like, my lady, my lady. And I just kind of thought, what's up with that? Well, honestly, I don't really give it much thought. He awakened and just started talking to me like that, so what? But I mean, you must have noticed that he's a man, or uh, a um, male, I mean. We kind of joined at the hit, but that just makes me think of him as a butler or a parent or something. He's a bit of an ag sometimes, he's just looking out for me, you know? Hey, why am I telling you all this? Enough, I'm going to my room. Fuck yes. Oh, it's just getting good. The judge walked out. I guess this one's a draw. Yeah, agreed. Okay, let's try another bout. What's the hot topic right now? Right, yeah. Okay. And so, thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continues. Hmm, it's kind of quiet. Looks like everyone's just hanging back in their rooms. Well, we may as well pass the time, Mithra. Why don't you ask me what my favourite food is? Okay, well, Cora, what's your favourite food? My favourite food is, wait for it, blossom custard. I like the little white flowers inside, and it has this appealing, wobbly texture to it. It's smooth and sweet when it hits your tongue. Yeah, I don't think it'd be hyperbole or hyperbole to say that foods like blossom custard boost one's girl power by a thousand percent. Hey, come on, you're exaggerating again. Huh? Well, how about you, Mithra? For me, it's going to be cloud sea crab sticks. Seriously? Yeah, crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. If you ask me, it's the best way to get the full flavour of cloud sea crab. No, 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 come on, you can't seriously eat crab sticks? Really? They're just a bit... Well, to be honest, they're the kind of thing that brings your girl power down instead of boosting it. Hey, what's wrong with cloud sea crab sticks? They're lovely. Come on, don't you think going crazy over sweet things is a bit, well, basic? Well, in my honest opinion, they're a lot better than fishy old crab sticks. I think we can both be able to win this round. I've got the most girl power. I think not. I had to think we can declare a winner without a judge. Now, this wasn't really a proper test, it's just a bit of a chit chat. You can't just make up rules like that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Mm, it's not like anyone's going to show up, though. But we need to settle this. I'm fairly sure Mythra's going to fail the next check because I don't. She can't have level 5 girl power. Two whole hours passed. No way, I was just having so much fun. Right, yeah. Okay. And so, thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continues. Oh, did it only have to be equal to? I guess it only has to be equal to. Hello, Mithra. Hello, Cora. What are Mithra and Cora doing? Poppy, you turned it up at just the right time. As it happens, Cora and I are facing off to see us the most girl power. We'd like to ask you to judge. Understood. Poppy, here to help. Poppy's just to sort of give us an impartial measurement of our girl power. Okay, we can talk about some real girl stuff now. Who we're into? That's what it's all about, huh? Cora, you can't... Can you change it up a bit? You're obsessed with this topic. How about you, Poppy? Yeah, I'd be curious to hear how you'd answer that, Poppy. Poppy, not really sure what Cora is talking about. We're telling each other who our special someone is, Poppy. I mean, like, who do you like? Poppy likes everyone. Ah, uh, no, that's not what she means. Poppy think girl power has other aspects, like organising life and fulfilling goals. Poppy have extensive subroutines and software libraries for making life successful. Based on criteria like task completion, punctuality and efficiency, Poppy have much girl power. Um, I guess she's right. Uh, yeah, I have a bit of a blind spot for that sort of thing. So according to Poppy's calculations, winner is Poppy. Please applaud. Hey, we can't just settle it just like that. Yeah, we've got no hope of winning against Poppy's robotic brain. Looks like another draw. Yep. Right, so for the next topic. Right, yeah. Okay. And so, thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continues. Oh, Mithra and Korva, could you be in the midst of your big girl off? Oh, Pandoria. We need to just spell our girl power driven chatting skills. Sounds fun, I'm game. So, what do we talk about? So far, we've done favourite foods and romance talk. 
Oh yeah, romance talk, huh? So did you, did you have a certain special someone in your sights? Oh, well, it's certainly an interesting topic, but there's no one right now. Um, same here. Oh, Mitha, you're a closed book, aren't you? I think there is someone. A certain... No, there's no one, I swear. What about you, Pandoria? Who do you like? Yeah, fess up. What about Zeke? Do you think that could go somewhere? N no, I, I, I don't think of the prince like that. He's so pig-headed and insensitive, nothing gets through to him. I think you must have been paying a fair bit of attention to him to make an observation like that. Come on, what do you really think about the old Zeke and Spill it. No, I won't. I won't tell you. There she goes. Pandora's surprisingly shy, huh? Well, we've lost another judge. I guess it's another draw. Oh well, it can't be helped. It's new the next day and we still haven't run out of things to talk about. Right, yeah. Okay. And so, thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the pale I might have to go all the way to level 8. Because that's as far as it can go. No one's coming past. Ah, uh, wedding round's no good. Let's go and look for someone. Oh, hello, you two. Are you taking a little constitutional? Is that what you're doing? Why, yes. I always take a little stroll in the night air. Aid sleep. Ah, huh, really? Bridget, we'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind chatting with us for a bit and then telling us which one of us has the most girl power? Oh, a thrilling contest, I'm sure. Certainly, I'd be happy to join in. Thank you. Well, since we have Bridget here, should we talk about beauty? Yeah, it's a topic I'm pretty confident on. My cleanse, tone, and moisturize routine takes some beating, I tell you. And I'm always practicing throwing cute poses in front of the mirror. If I may say, that's a rather narrow way to define beauty color. I'm not sure beauty is something you practice. It's something you radiate from within. I don't think I really need to go to those lengths to look good. I always aim for new heights of beauty. It's like one of my life goals. Ever onward, always pushing the very boundaries of beauty. Certainly, it's good to set yourself goals. A little healthy rivalry doesn't hurt either. Of course, the rivalry should always be handled graciously. So I'd say this one's a draw, girls. Huh? What? I think you both need to go spiritually a little before you can really hold forth about beauty. Um, wait for it. Right, yeah, okay. And so, thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continued. I heard from Neo about your little contest. Are you still at it? Yeah, it's all good. Maybe you can judge our girl power for us, Morag. Well, I only came out here to get some water, but of course, why not? Morag, do you ever desire a bit of romance? I am a soldier of the Ardanian Empire. Romance would divert valuable time away from perfecting my military arts. Don't you get sick of all that fighting? No, as it happens. Nothing beats cultivating one's character together with one's friends. It is enjoyable and worthwhile activity. This is how I've always looked at it. Morvag, you take life too seriously. Don't you ever just want to take a break? No, not all. To be honest, I think you and all our blades here are lacking dedication. If you are Ardanian army blades, you'd be living a much more focused life, I can tell you. Ardanian blades will never stay up half the night in frivolous chatter. They rest up for the next day. A first-rate fighter never lets up on her training. This applies all the more while you're young. You need to be strict with your routine and rid yourself of bad habits. Um, Morag? You got your point across pretty clearly there, Morag. Thanks so much. No, I haven't finished yet. You two need to reaffirm your commitment to the warrior life. You should sit there quietly and listen. Don't even think about running off. What? Ugh, this is actually getting kind of stale, but I can't pull out now. Right, yeah, okay. No, I don't and have so, ten. Thanks to the beautiful Mithra... Hmm. Cat got your tongue? If you want to settle this, we need to sharpen up our charm skills. I guess we have to. Well, the big show does tomorrow. You better bring your A game. No fear, we'll settle this for sure. Okay, so do I just need another blade that has girl power? Or girls talk? I thought it was just between Cora and Mithra. I didn't en entertain the idea that it could actually be like, any. I can make it happen. I have three girls talk on Praxis. So I, that can happen. Right. Zeke? I've waited for this. Jesus, this, that was, it, it lasted <laughs> hours. Okay, well, um, I need to go back. Do I have to start all over again? I hope not. I mean, it doesn't matter if I do, I can just fast forward it, but. I 
I do hope I don't have to start all over again. Uh, we need to settle this. We better recap from the start, but we're not bore you, so let's continue from where we left off. Oh, yeah, right. Right, yeah. Okay. And so, thanks to the beautiful Mithra, Hail can. There you go. Uh, I'm really quite tired now. Yeah, me too. This is exactly the sort of time you need to be able to perk yourself up. Well, there's no one here. Why don't you talk about fashion or something to pass the time? Sure, why not? How about accessories? I love accessories. I mean, I'm like wearing them, of course, but just looking at them for friends too. What kind of things do you like, Cora? Hmm, I guess I'm really into flowers. Flowers are so pretty, cute, and stylish. I feel kind of healed whenever I look at them. They're great worn in the hair. Don't you think that's a little childish? Huh? Childish or not? I like what I like. There's no changing that. I'd say that's a win to me. Hey, that's not fair. I'm cuter. I should win. You're a poor loser, Cora. But there's no one here to judge. We can't decide who will win, though, judge. Let's call it another draw, then. It's starting to look like we might not be able to find a winner. Ah, it's morning already, and I've got a real humdinger of a zinger for you that'll perk you up like hot java. It's... Oh, yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. I need another so, girl's talk, for fuck's sake. The beautiful Mithra, the tale continues. <laughs> Shit. Hmm. Okay, go your tongue. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I need more people with girls talk. I sent them all away on missions. Shit. I didn't think this would be that hard. I need to, I, I need to bring them back. Which means I need to cancel the mission, but that's fine. For the story. Bring them back. My blood boils. Who has Sheba? Hankering for our banquets? <sighs> there. My blood boils. There. This is as much girls' talk as I'm ever gonna get. At least for a while. Vale can have more, but I'd need to get over to here, which is not going to happen for a while. Sheba, though, has another three. And honestly, what what else do I need? I like how, like, three days have passed. Here we go. Oh, yeah, right. Right, yeah. Okay. All right. Let us turn uh -huh. this farce into a three-act so, comedy. thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continues. I've got more girls' talk than you can ever need. If we just keep drawing, we're never going to be able to determine a winner. Hey, Cora, Mithra, have you two been chatting here the whole time? Actually, we're trying to work out which one of us has the most girl power. Yeah, Praxis, could you adjudicate for us? Hey, wait a sec, are you sure we should ask Praxis? I mean, maybe we should ask someone who's a bit more girly. Yeah, perhaps she's not the best candidate. If I'm being honest, she's probably not up to the task. Hey, you don't have to keep going on and on about it, you know. Anyway, if it's girl power you're after, I'll have you know I've got plenty. More, in fact. Huh? No way. You're so untidy and always losing things in your mess. And when you get eat the food, it goes everywhere. Ugh. You think girl power is all about waltzing around like a little butterfly? No, it's about being true to yourself. Don't you think that means you don't have much girl power? Yeah, yeah, and I really think you should stop leaping into the bath like you always do. I'll tell you what, you two can just figure out a winner amongst yourselves. Not a couple of jerks, I've had enough. Uh, maybe we did say a bit too much there. Maybe we should take her a little something later to try and make it up. Yeah, I think so. That's no good. I'm done. I'm all talked out. Oh yeah, right, right, yeah. Okay, all right. Let us uh -huh. turn this farce into a three-act so, comedy. Thanks to the beautiful Mithra, the tale continues. I can go a little bit further, but not much further. <sighs> We're kind of in a bind here. Yeah, no kidding. Every bout so far has ended in a draw. Who'd have thought it? At this rate, the sun will be up before we know who's got the most girl power. I'm sure the next person who comes by will be able to help us. Let's agree to just go with whatever they say. Got it. Nia. Yeah. Good timing, girl. No, what is it? I don't know if I'm up for any more of your weird games. No, it's nothing strange. We just wanted to tell us who has the most girl power. Me or Cora? Girl power? Oh, you still haven't done me the stupid contest yet? Hey, come on. Just give us an answer. Don't hold back. Just serve it as it comes. Out with it, Nia. It's me, right? I've got the most girl power. No way, I've got more girl power in my little finger. You need to back up that with something, Mithra. Your girl power's in your mouth. That's what you think, right, Nia? 
No, that's not what you think at all, is it, Nia? Hmm. Okay, I decided. Who is it? I decided not to take part in this bloody farce. Nia, wait. Hey, looks like the sun should be up before long. What time is it? <sighs> uh, it's seven o'clock. I guess the contest is over. Oh, so it is. But we don't really have a clear winner yet. Indeed. Cora, I'm starting to get the measure of you now. I hate to admit it, but you do have more girl power than me. Well, that's really big of you, Mithra. You're my only rival when it comes to girl power. I salute you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm pooped, but it was fun. Sure was. Had a great time. Maybe we should do it again sometime. Yeah, Pinky promise. together well now your little contest might be over girls but there's one more judgment to make it's about all your reckless gallivanting time for a little court martial I think uh, uh well uh... hey listen didn't we help you discover your inner girl power too uh, yeah, uh, that's true. No? No. Definitely no. I think you need punishing. Really? You can't go around doing stuff like that. Sorry. You should think about all the hassle you've caused us. I know, sorry. Make sure it sinks in. I... we will. Is that a promise? It's a promise. In that case, the epic contest concludes without a victor. That means two losers and two forfeits. Great idea, Morag. Huh? Not so fast. Something wrong? Mm, uh, <sighs> nothing. nothing. Does this stuff keep happening to me? Mithra, don't complain. You talk the talk, now dance the dance. Gah! This is the pits. Nothing wrong with a bit of late night banter, Cora, but there's no need to put others out. You don't want to have to sit through another of Morag's lectures, do you? Yeah, I get it now, but sometimes it's fun to get caught up in conversation, don't you think? I hope we'll get a chance for a little tete a tete sometime soon. I'm game for that, Cora. I don't mind saying you're an absolute hoot. Girl power off. Complete. The contest ends in no clear winner, and both contest contestants are forced to perform the forfeit by irate comrades. Shit's fucked, yo. Well, I mean, at least it ended with both characters having to dance, you know? It's like a 
glimpse of the real me. I thought I'd Thank get you to for pick. staying around. Uh, I hope you're not tired of me yet, or that we're not in some kind of rut. Oh, I miss the excitement of the early days. Anyway, that's to say, don't you dare replace me, yeah? Rather impressive. You missed the heady days of the early game. Me too, brother. Me too. Uh, okay, so we've got... Brock, please to put to our meet you. units back. Who was... Oh, Cosette. Of course, how could I forget Cosette? Healer extraordinaire. So, that means I can go back to the Merc group and actually send them on a mission again. Mysterious life form. Time to affirm my existence. I get to fight. I just need... Okay, so all I need is another person, so like Poppy Buster, right? And then I just need three great axes that also have strength beyond the level that they need. Don't do. Worry. I'm great at support. Let us rake in the assets. There. Off you go. Okay. So with that, with Corva being done, let's have a little check of our blade list and how many are left to go. We got Vale to do and Dagas to do and Zenobia to do. And Poppy Buster to do. That's four. And then Shulk and Fiora. That'll come after. That's six. Six rare blades to go. Until I'm done with all the blades that I can do. And then I'm missing three more after that. Yes. And I've got to do Alma at some point. But I've got to get her first. Which I was waiting until I have all the other blades to work out a good strategy to kill, kill her with. Sorry. Um... I'm going to end now, and then next time we're going to go and upgrade some other blade. Probably Shulk and Fuhrer again, as much as I can do anyway. See you then. Goodbye.